Well, thanks for joining us. I'm JC Fetch. More than 200 positions are being cut at SUNY Downstate Medical Center, but workers aren't going down easy. Employees and community members are fighting the layoffs. Rallying in front of SUNY Downstate today on Clarkson Avenue in East Flatbush, and that's where we find News 12's Kenna Vernon. A message from SUNY Downstate. The struggling hospital system is letting more than 200 employees go later this month. Where are people going to get health care? It's a real concern. Jobs also. Uh, there's no work. When the state wanted to privatize SUNY Downstate Medical Center, Rowena Blackman Stroud knew that UUP couldn't save this irreplaceable public hospital on its own. So UUP's statewide treasurer and longtime downstate chapter president pulled together central Brooklyn politicians, community groups, and faith-based leaders and formed a coalition, one that understood the need for a public accessible hospital better than anyone. It took years, but like Rowena, her community coalition was relentless. Without a doubt, um, the person in all of UUP that I respect more than anyone else is Rowena Blackman Stroud. I knew what she had been doing at Downstate on behalf of her members, on behalf of the patients and the students there, on behalf of the community. Um, I was, I was just blown away. We are going to call on him to say no to privatizing SUNY Downstate Medical Center. We are going to call on him to say no to converting the hospital to just an outpatient treatment facility. And we are going to call on him to say yes to keeping Downstate a full service state public hospital and teaching facility. Thank you. She will continue as Downstate's chapter president, serving as a strong voice for her chapter's members. Rowena has been a vigilant guardian of UUP's finances, working tirelessly to make sure the union puts the well-being of its members first. A graduate of the University of the West Indies and New York University, Rowena was elected to Knights and Board of Directors in 1998 and serves as a trustee of UUP's Benefit Trust Fund. In 2004, Rowena became the first UUP member elected to the New York State AFL-CIO Executive Council. Now that she's no longer treasurer, Rowena's focus will be on Downstate, which, like all public hospitals, can never be entirely safe from the threat of privatization. As long as Rowena is at Downstate, UUPers can rest assured that she's watching out for them and for the people this vital hospital serves. I can't imagine uh, the, how challenging it will be for me not to pick up the phone every day and ask her how it's going and to give me some advice on an issue that I'm dealing with. Uh, so I want Rowena to be prepared. Uh, please don't change your cell phone number. Um, I'm going to be using it because uh, I need you and as I have for the four years I've been president. Um, you are in so many ways the heart and soul of what is best about UUP. 